oh, wow, with that second cup of coffee, everything's like all lights up a little bit, you know. Let's put some color into it. Life, huh? Make love, not war. Yanis, Yorgos, make love, not war. They listen attentively. Uh, surprised how cheap the hippie lifestyle is. Makes sense in a way. Well, uh, after about 20 minutes at this outpost, Earthman declines a game of cards, but accepts a third cup of, he's brave, of coffee, and feeling warm in his heart, dry on his skin. <clears throat> no rain, no wind, yeah. Crackling fire. Mm -hmm. Warm camaraderie, huh? Yeah. Young people, same the world over. Love to flock together. Uh, well, okay. Earthman's off. Yasu. Yanis, Yorgos, and uh, Istura. <laughs> yeah, see you soon. Um, yeah. Mm -hmm. oh. Well, the rain drops. Finally stop. Uh, before dusk. And he rests for a moment on the hill overlooking Choria, which is the major town that leads to the Fort of Yalos, where Cleo is waiting in bed. Uh, a hand hewn stone. Yeah, another crusader outfit. The Knights of Abusa made this stairway. And it's ancient, I mean, <laughs> but. Uh, you, if you drop down, it's a shortcut. Earthman drops down, yeah, to the harbor. Uh, in Corio, he passes the carpenter shop. Stefanos, uh, working late on oh, the cedar coffin of a small child. Sawdust in his long beard. Gray beard. Uh, the serene master craftsman nods. <laughs> yeah, uh, notices Earthman pausing in his doorway. Earthman, mm, observing the blessed aura of blonde woods. Oh, yeah. Uh, uh, was uh, Moni Parnamiti beautiful, my child? Inquires the carpenter, admiring the rain-drenched foreigner uh, for his dangerous, divine adventure. Uh, beautiful father, answers Earthman. Oh. <laughs> Well, um, wisdom rewards the pilgrim. Yeah. When Earthman understands that this uh, humble carpenter is the holy man his spirit was seeking. Uh -huh. Stephanos, the Alpha and the Omega of my soul's thirst to witness a pure spiritual human. During this mystical moment, the unspoken acknowledgement of this potent truth uh, flickers in the lantern light. Mm -hmm. yeah. Between their intense masculine eyes. The carpenter struck sawdust in his beard and inquires, Prisnima of Patmos? A pilgrimage to Patmos? All right. Cleo. On sponge. Mm -hmm. You know where she is. Uh, Earthman's shameless uh, empress of the Dodecanese uh, anxiously increases the flame in the glass hooded uh, lantern on the windowsill for my explorer from the storm. Uh, yeah, uh, coming back into protected harbor of my arms, warm bed and pussy. When my Earthman finally arrives, uh, from his other planetary travel to the monastery, um, I embrace him. Mm -hmm. Remove his wet clothes. 
I change him into the flannel pajamas that uh, I devotedly hand sewed for him today. I brew tea from sage leaves. <laughs> that I gather in the meadow near Fady Bay mm -hmm. during my contemplative <laughs> romantic reminiscences this afternoon. Uh, well, Earthman talks about the mystical spiritual hint, pilgrimage to Potmos, whispered by the old carpenter in Joria. Mm -hmm. uh, I playfully pose as a stalking leopard cat. Uh, and hissing, scratch the air with my paw. Without warning, I, I, I unbutton my burgundy flannel blouse mm -hmm. and caress my fabulous freckle abundant breasts yeah oh uh, mm. and offer earth man this Australian platter of Malonas <laughs> yeah it's just oh earth man my nectar whispers uh, Earthman as he laps at my warm breasts uh, in his face. Uh, I squeeze my tits together so he can suck both nipples at the same time. Uh, finally, I draw Shiva down on the bed. I've had enough. Waiting. Up. Uh, and tear away his flannel pajamas. Assassin pagan fellatio. I suck my mandrake roots. <laughs> As an aficionada of fellatio, my tantric ambition is to assassinate him as a lonely, separate individual. Uh, Earthman is a virgin, too, sprawling on his back, to be phallically devoured. Oh, insatiable nature nip me. Bound by, no oh God. Uh, he orgasms in his high spurts uh, until... I cap his uh, relentless gusher with my mouth. My carnal suckling and swallowing blows open all his chakras. He's got an inner pure flute now. <clears throat> <clears throat> Hand and mouth work. Oh, uh, afterglow. Flushed and braid. The Earthman shares his heart with me without the slightest shyness. Uh, I am touched Ooh. Uh, to the core, to this cool intimacy, deep but cool intimacy with another human. But a, a twist in the plot happens right now. I mean, this is an 11 hour book, <laughs> you know, once in a while, <clears throat> we need to like, uh, <clears throat> go to a new vibration. I mean, okay, what ha what happened? What is it? Okay, at weeks of honeymooning on Spun Island. Look, uh, Earth and I wonder, like, really? Is there life after Sponge for us? Oh, you know, uh, maybe we should get out of here. Well, we still can. Oh, so we, we make a rough sketch map of the nearest islands uh, through the Dodecanese toward, well, Potmos, the carpenter. Potmos. Uh, we wait in the quayside taverna with our Indian shoulder bags for, well, it'd have to be a chance, Bo. 